finally somebody gets to carry him. He's been carrying these guys for so long. You know, he had an off night. Um, you know, Jr. Cal Corver and those guys, Tristan Thompson, they did a fabulous job of carrying him. And hopefully he doesn't have to expend that much energy in game two just to get a win. I mean, I love that this is the level of reporting that Brian and I are at. Both of us apparently asked him, all right, so when did you sleep last night? He told me he got nine hours, so that was big Oh, nine deal. hours, that's we'll good. Have to see. We'll have you got to the see. edge there, Rach. <laughs> we'll have to see whether that carries over. And obviously it's LeBron. He hit the timely shot when it mattered, but obviously he was not happy with the game he played. The other big thing we got in that game in game one is Drake beefing with Kendrick, not that Kendrick, Kendrick Perkins. Do you think that's going to spill over into tonight? Because Drake tried to follow Perk back into the locker room. Bad idea. He doesn't want to mess with Perk. First I know off, we're in Toronto, but leave Perk alone. First off, the Cavs have really good security guys. Yes. And Drake has security guys. They'd never get near, near yeah. each other. Like, the Cavs security guys are not to be messed with. Perk is not to be messed with. Everybody just stay in your respective corners and enjoy the ball game. Well, I'm definitely looking forward to the sideline antics because we know Drake has 